Hello there, in this short video we're going to add a camera shake effect. So first of all, we are going to use a script that's already been shared in the default forums, uh, but we can also find it in the public examples. Repo from Britzel, I'm sorry, don't know how really to pronounce that handle, but it's one of the main uh, developers, if I'm not mistaken, of the default engine. You, if you've ever been into the default forums, you've most definitely seen him. He's amazing and always helping out and answering questions. Also, if you haven't joined the Discord, it's really helpful as well. In any case, let's continue. So we're gonna leave a link uh, to the script below, just for your convenience. Uh, go ahead, just copy the, the content on, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, let's start by going to scripts. We're gonna create a new script. Oops, see if I can actually do it. <laughs> And we're going to call this Baturinsky, which is the user that shared this script. Uh, it's a really simple version. There are a couple of versions. Uh, this is the one I'm familiar with. So it's the one I'm going to be using for this video. Uh, Baturinsky shape, shake, sorry. And all we need to do is just copy the code. There we go. You don't really need to understand much. The most important bit is on the on message function, where you can get rid of this print. Uh, we should just see it visually and uh, we, we can add it back again if we need to debug but we should see it visually uh, the most important bit is that we need to send a shake message on issue it also depends on a shake variable this is what how we control the intensity of the shake next we need to add some components to our collection so let's go ahead and do that we're going to start by adding a game object we're going to call this camera and here we need we need to add two things First, I think the most obvious one, we're gonna need to attach this uh, Baturinsky shake script. So let's go ahead and do that. And we also, we're gonna be using a new component, uh, which is the camera component. Now we're not gonna be doing pretty much anything with it. We just need this, because the script depends on it, right? The shake effect uh, depends on a camera component. Personally, I haven't really fiddled too much with the camera component in default. I do know that um, you can use it for like zooming in and zooming out, or change the visible area of our game without effect, actually affecting the game world, right? Or in our case, uh, to create a shake effect. We're also going to leave a link in the description below for the official docs for the camera component. Again, amazing. And it even explains a few things that we're gonna be doing as well. Okay, with our components in place, we're just gonna have um, to update the ball movement script for a bit. The ball movement script is not notifying the main controller on collision, so there's no way for us to notify that. Uh, we could simply send a message from the ball movement script, but I personally prefer to have a single place that connects components. Otherwise, if every component is just talking to every component, I think it could, be, it could get a bit of, out of hand. A uh, concern that comes into mind is actually that maybe there could be a bottleneck, right? Like we have a single place that's like a router basically but I haven't, I haven't run into issues, so it's my preferred way, but feel free to do it in your own way as well. With that said, let's start by adding a couple of constants that we need. We're going to be sending a message to the main controller, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna call this ball collided. Oops. Yeah, and then here the same thing. Well, oops, not collision, but collide. It's just, we're not defining of the, the event that, that happened. So, yeah, so right here, we could do it just below the sound play. We're already sending a message here, so let's go ahead and copy this. We won't need any any data with the message. So let's just, let's just not send it for now. In the future, we could probably need the ID if we wanted to know which ball is the one that collided but for now we don't need it so let's let's not add things we don't really need this is enough for the ball movement now we're sending a message to the main controller let's copy this and i'm already regretting not having this in a single place but we'll probably get around this refactoring in a future video so no worries let's go to the main controller add this message here and we need to handle it right on the end message we need to handle this message, so let's copy this if. We're gonna go ahead and do an else. If the message is ball collided, there we go. 
So what do we do? We just need to send a message to the camera, right? So all we need to do is message, the post, there we go, the receiver, just the camera. This is the URL that we would get from the main collection, remember? And we know that we want the hash of a shake. We could, we could have it as a, as a constant as well. Let's let's go ahead and add it. Yeah, as a constant, we're, that, we've been doing this for a while. So let's uh, add a local shake hash shake. There we go. Just to avoid creating hashes, we're gonna be sending shakes quite often, especially now that we're spawning a lot of balls. So let's make sure we do that. And as mentioned, we need also need to send the intensity this message expects uh, a message to shake so let's go ahead and add yet another constant for this let's go we can call it camera shake Oop. camera shake intensity and we're just going to be using a six usual values i've seen around are like eight i think that, that's like the default value uh maybe not here but in definitely in the forum I believe eight's like the default value used because we have a lot of balls. I don't want a very intense, a very high value. But again, this is just configuration and feel free to play around with it and see what feels right. But for now, we're going to go with the six. And we need to update right here. So we call it camera intense, shake intensity. And before we go ahead and test, we're just missing one thing. Uh, you can see this in the official documentation for the camera component uh, in the default website uh, pretty much like the input we're going to have to post a message through so we can actually acquire the camera by default it's not acquired it's not doing much so yeah let's post a message to the camera component and let it know that you should acquire the camera focus yeah and with this we should now be ready to test so let's go ahead and do it and wow there we go <laughs> that's really nice Let's uh, wait for a few balls to spawn and then we'll see what this is really about. It's quite nice. Awesome. Yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, again, short video, but I think it's a pretty cool feature that we were able to add very quickly. Uh, thanks to, again, community and collaboration between people. So special thanks to Baturinsky. I hope that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> Apologies. And also to Britzel. Many thanks for all the examples and all the code share. Uh, you've made uh, le learning and developing fun things a lot easier than it would have been otherwise. So thank you very much for watching. And yeah, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And see you in the next one.